Hey, this is Drew. Welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. Going to do a quick review here on another Foxtrot Mike 9mm upper. Special thanks to Paul, Foxtrot Mike. You guys rock. This is their 10.5 inch 9mm upper. And I got to say, this is the third one that I've got, and I love them all. I got the 16, 8.5, and, and the 10.5. They sent me this one because I'm running a can, and I got the 8.5. And the eight and a half, you can't you can't really screw on a can. If you don't have a can, me personally, and you've got a pistol lower or an SBR, I'd go the eight and a half. Um, I'll, I'll throw that in on this video. It is an absolute blast to run, but I want a can. So I got the three lug. They sent me the three lug. I went ahead and got the adapter for my can. Nice thing is, is it it just pops on super quick and it pops off just as easy don't have to do all the screwing thing which really isn't a big deal overall it's the same length as the eight and a half because the eight and a half has got the muzzle brake and i don't think you probably want to take that off because that's going to put the barrel behind the handguard and you don't want to slip fingers over that but we're going to get some stuff mounted on this and we're going to get outside as soon as the weather permits and we're going to fire a bunch of lead downrange through this and see how it does, both suppressed and not. And then I'm also going to kind of bag it, and we'll see what kind of accuracy we can get. I'm expecting really good. Uh, with a 16-inch, I had awesome groups. Check out that video. Anyway, thanks again, Paul, Foxtrot, Mike. Let's get this outside. I can't wait. Okay, so we're finally outside. I got the Foxtrot, Mike, the 10.5-inch upper. Let's give it a shot. I've got some 115 grain federal full metal jacket that I got uh, at a steal of a deal on the black pack here not too long ago. Let's go take a look and see how we did. Okay, so it's not seeming to like the 115 grain. I'm doing a review on some federal 147 grain. Um, Hopefully it'll be a little quieter because it's not exactly quiet with this can. So let's try the 147 and see how that does. Well, that's a lot quieter. Well, that's a lot quieter. Let's take a look and see how Here's it Here's my goes. second round with my Federal 147 grain. This is my 10 and a half inch Foxtrot Mike upper. This shows you I didn't touch anything other than it's cold outside. We got snow and I let it sit. This shows you what a cold barrel or cooling down will do. It moved that entire group down into the right, but man, that is impressive. 10 and a half inch barrel, nine millimeter, 50 yards. We had the flyer there that was probably the first shot until the barrel warmed. I could not be happier, both with my Foxtrot, my 10 and a half upper. I mean, that is impressive. Um, also, Federal, 147 grain, thumbs up. This stuff rocks, it's quiet, it's unbelievably accurate. This is at 50 yards with a red dot. That's it, no magnification. I am impressed. What I want to do is I really want to put this Foxtrot mic upper through the through the test here. So what I've got is I've got some Magtech, Tula, Wolf, and Gecko. We're going to put them all up. I'm going to run 10 rounds, let the barrel cool, and then I'm going to switch to a different brand. We're going to see what happens because obviously it did not like that Federal, and I put in that 147 grain, and man, it was a freaking tack driver. So, you know, let's go ahead and run some different brands through and see, see what happens. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. So I just fired the four different 115 grain full metal jacket, the cheap stuff, Tula, Sorry, Tula, Wolf, Gecko, and Magtech, and you're not going to believe the results. So there's Tula, there's Magtech, 115 grain, there's Gecko, hey, that's, you know, that's not too bad, European brass case. There's Wolf, <laughs> Wolf, military classic. Um, yeah, 
Anyway, it doesn't like the lighter bullets. Now, something else I want to cover real quick here with these Foxtrot mic, the FM uppers, is I'm running a Stern Defense Magwell adapter. Now, this thing is awesome. I can't say enough about it. It is built like a tank. However, Stern Defense has on their website that they have or experience issues with the Foxtrot Mic BCG. This, and if you send it in for $7.99 or something, uh, they'll make some modifications. So anyway, I got a hold of Paul and was talking to Paul about this because I have not experienced any of these issues with all three of my Foxtrot Mic upper. And before I did this review, I wanted to make sure and address that. And so basically, he sent me some stuff, and what I'd been doing, I'd been doing it without even knowing it, okay? It all has to do with installation. Don't send your bolt carrier group in and have it milled, okay? Not unless you have done this and done this and done this. And all I did was follow the directions from Stern Defense. So I think Stern Defense should maybe put something out there about following directions before sending in a BCG to be milled. Because I've tried it in several different lowers with three different uppers, and I have yet to have a single issue. And all I did was follow their directions. They give great directions. So anyway, it goes in, and then I got to press this to let it slide up in. Okay? Now, as per the directions, pull it down. Okay? Goes in, pull down. Pull down as hard as you can. Once you've got it pulled down all the way, I pull on it, and then I do just like the directions. I tighten this screw, okay? Right there, just like the directions from Stern Defense say. Pull down, tighten that screw, and this is one, I'm not gonna, you know, like crank it and strip it, but I'm putting some torque on it. Once I've got that down, okay, then I've got my little polymer, or nylon screws here. Okay, whoops, sorry, right there. And then I'm gonna tighten those down. These you do not want to, as per the stir of fence directions, do not want to crank. I just wanna turn till they're tight, and there we go, that's tight. I watched another video, guy never does this, and it's working for him, good. I'm following the directions, and I turn these, just till it's tight. And boom, I haven't had an issue. So here's the upper. Okay, pop that in. I got a Fostec trigger, so I got to kind of go through a ritual here. I'm going to pop that down. Okay. And the first pull sometimes is a little stiff. No issues. Take my mag, pop it in, holds open, release. I have not had one single issue. All I did was follow the directions. I know sometimes it's hard to do that. Some of you don't read the directions. Before you send your BCG in to have it uh, machined, make sure and follow the directions because I have had Absolutely no issues, and that's exactly what Paul told me from Foxtrot Mike. Anyway, let's get outside and see this thing perform. Quick, another little lesson here for free while we're doing this. Outside, it's cold. Actually, today's a pretty nice day. It's upper 30s. One thing, if you are not aware of this, you tighten stuff up in your house, you go outside, it's freezing cold, stuff loosens. So the what is great is if you're outside and you're shooting stuff sitting out there, go back and retighten everything. You will be amazed at what you find loose or loosening. Same with optics and everything else. Okay, so we tried the Foxtrot mic for accuracy. Did great. Loves the heavier bullets. But here's the real reason I got a Foxtrot mic. This is my third Foxtrot mic. Go through, I have had absolutely no issues with Magwell, Adapter, or anything, but here's the real reason I got my Foxtrot mic.
<laughs> Gotta love Foxtrot, Mike. And Fostech. <laughs> okay, that was fun, but with the 115 grain, it's still kind of loud. So let's try the 147 grain. I didn't, I didn't do a full mag here, but let's just see how that does. Wow, that was 10 rounds. That was fun. That was quiet. Anyway, Foxtrot Mike, two thumbs up, five stars, all the way. Love the products, have not had one single issue yet. Special thanks to Paul. Works for me. <laughs> Let's try 200. Why not? Let's go across the dam. <laughs> yeah, that was too much fun at 200 yards. I want to. I want to get it some more. Oh, damn.